Good afternoon, my name is Derek Walters, and what I want to talk about today is something called project management. But before I can really talk about project management, I have to lay the foundation for how we get to project management. Typically, companies spend a lot of time uh, doing strategic planning, and sometimes they call it strategic management, but in the business world, it's called strategic planning. And Education and academia is called strategic management. So first, let me define strategic management. Strategic management is the art and science of formulating, implementing, and evaluating cross-functional decisions that enable an organization to achieve its goals. So as you note, we have three components to strategic management. So let's look at the first component, formulating. Formulating involves vision and mission. The company must put together a vision and mission statement. Then after they do that, first of all, well, let me back up. The vision always comes before the mission. After they create a vision and mission statement, then they do what we call a SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis, strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Strengths and weaknesses are, is an internal analysis. Opportunities and threats is an external analysis. Then after they complete the formulation, then they implement. Implement and implementation involves taking the objectives, the goals and objectives that were created in strategy formulation, and then putting wheels on them, if you will, and carrying out the plan that senior management has put together. So implementation. We're implementing the annual goals and objectives, or three to five year plan. So part of that, or how we carry out the goals and objectives, is through something called policies. We have to put together policies to help us implement the goals and objectives. And then the third leg of this is evaluation. Formulation, implementation, and evaluation. Evaluation usually takes into consideration performance measurement. Performance measurement. So how do we measure performance? Well, in project management, I like to use that analogy in how we measure performance. Typically, we use something called earned value. Earned value is the value of work in dollars completed to date. Okay. So how do we get from strategic management to project management? How do we get from strategic management to project management? Well, after the company puts together their goals and objectives and determines what they want to do for the next three to five years and how they're going to do that, they also take into consideration what the customer wants because we're in business to satisfy our customer. Obviously, if we're not satisfying our customer, then we won't be in business long. So, Company, senior management, what I like to call the OLT, officers leadership team, puts together their strategy, which takes into consideration what the customer wants, where we want to be in the next three to five years, and then we come up with how we're going to get there. And typically, how we get there always comes back to putting together a project to help us get there. So what is project management? Well, we put together a project is carried out by a term called project management or skill. Well, let's define project management. Project management is the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to project requirements to bring projects in on time, under budget, and within quality standards. So if we're going to use project management, we need to know what is a project. We don't want to be doing work that's not project work. Sometimes people get confused with operations and projects. There's a major difference between operations and projects. Let's define project. Project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to produce a unique product, service, or result. Okay, so how does that differ from the other side of the coin, which is operations? Well, operations is repetitious. Operations is repetitious and projects are not. So if we were to give you several characteristics of a project, we would start by saying, first of all, a project is temporary, a project is unique, and then I'll give you three more things that I hadn't talked about up until now. 
project is time bound, meaning it has a definite start and end date. A project is progressively elaborated, meaning that it starts in steps and unfolds incrementally. And then the last thing, a project is non-repetitious. That is what separates it from operations. Keep in mind now, anything that's repetitious is operations, and projects are not repetitious. The final thought on that is, if a project, if I should say, if an initiative that you think you want to make a project does not have all five of those characteristics of a project, then it's not a project. So let's review. If your initiative, task, or whatever you want to call it, that you want to implement is not temporary, if it's not unique, if it's not time bound, if it's not progressively elaborated, and if it's not non-repetitious, then guess what? It's not a project.